18 crochet along. Today's square is number 31 called the web flower. So to begin you can join or you can chain six and join into your first chain with a slip stitch to make a ring or you can do a magic circle. I'm going to do the magic circle, chain one. Now you're going to work 16 single crochets into your ring. We'll get back to you when I have 16 single crochets in my circle. Okay, so I've worked 16 single crochets into my ring and I've tightened it up slightly. I've joined with a slip stitch into my beginning uh, single crochet. So now we're going to chain three or do a chainless double crochet. I'm going to do a chainless double crochet. You can chain three, it's a preference. Now you're going to work four double crochet puff stitch into this, this uh, first single crochet that we joined into. So one, two, three, and four. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. Pull through all of them. Chain three. Now we're going to skip our next stitch right here and we're going to work into this one working for a double crochet puff stitch. So there's one, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, there's two, there's three, four, I'm sorry it's supposed to be five this time, not four, so one more time. Alright, there we go. Yarn over, pull through all, chain three. Skip your next stitch and work your puff stitch into the next stitch. Do five of them. So one, two, three, four, and five. Repeat this all the way around, chain three, one, two, three, skip the next stitch, work your puff stitch in the next, skip the next, being sure to chain three after each puff stitch. And I will get back to you when I've done that. Okay, so I've worked eight puff stitches all the way around. Now we're gonna join into our beginning chain three, the third chain, or if you did the chainless double, you can join into the top of your chainless double. And we're gonna cut our yarn We'll start with a new color. Okay, so now I've joined, um, finished off my first uh, two rounds. Now we're going to join into the same space that um, we joined in with a single crochet. And now we're going to chain six. one single crochet into the next puff stitch, chain six. One single crochet into the next puff stitch, chain six. Repeat this all the way around until you get back to the beginning. And I will show you how to finish off your last space. So when you work your last single crochet into your last puff stitch, do not chain three or do not chain six. I will show you how to, what we're gonna do in the next step. Okay, so I've worked around. I worked my last single crochet into my last puff stitch. So now we're gonna chain three. Now we're gonna work a double crochet and join, uh, and join it into our beginning single crochet. So work it right into that. Complete it like a normal double crochet. And the reason why we did this is because um, we're going to start our first corner on this next round, but we're going to start the first half um, working it around this double crochet here. Okay. So chain three, or do a chainless double crochet. I'm going to do the chainless double crochet. And now you're going to work four double crochet over that double crochet that we made in the last round. One, two, 
three, four, chain three, and put one single crochet into the next chain space. Chain three, work five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet into the next chain space. Three, four, and five. Chain three. Work five more double crochet into that same chain space. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain three. Work a single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, and work your next corner in the next space, five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next, chain three, work your corner. Repeat this all the way around and I'll get back to you when we get to where we began. Okay, so I've worked around, I've worked five double crochet into my last chain space, um, chain three, and now we're gonna join into um, our beginning chain three. If you did a chain three, it'll be the third chain. If you did your chainless double, you'll be joining into the top of your chainless double. I seem to have gotten my stitches a little bit too tight. There we go. All right. Round five. You're going to chain three or do a chainless double crochet. I'm doing a chainless double. You can chain three. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then place one single crochet in the next chain space. So the next chain space has, happens to be right here. So work one single crochet into that. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now you're gonna work one single crochet into the next chain space. Chain four. One, two, three, four. In your corner, work five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet. Two, three, four, and five. Chain three, five double crochet again into the same space. Two, three, four, and five. Chain four, one, two, three, four. One single crochet into your chain space, chain three, one, two, three, one single crochet into your next chain space, chain four, one, two, three, and four. Work your corner, five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next chain space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain space, chain four, and work your corner again. If you need to rewind, remember you can always rewind if you need to slow it down. The option is in the upper right hand corner of your screen and if you need to pause, you're always more than welcome to. I will meet you when I get back to the beginning here. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. I've just made my last chain four and now I'm working into my corner. So I'm gonna work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five chain three. Now I'm going to work uh, four double crochet because remember in the beginning we did a chain three or a chainless double crochet two three so we only need to work four double crochet and now we're going to join into the third chain of your chain three or if you did the chainless you'll join into the top of your chainless double crochet with a slip stitch and you're going to cut your yarn and join with a new color. That's what we have so far. Round six, you're going to join into um, any corner. You're going to do a chain three or a standing double crochet. I'm going to do a standing double crochet into my corner. All right, now you're going to work two more double crochet into the same space. chain two, work three double crochet into the same space. Now 
Now you're going to chain two again and work three double crochet into the next chain space. Two and three. Chain two, three double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three. Chain two, three double crochet into the next chain space. Two and Got some yarn barf about to happen right here. <laughs> One, two, and three. All right, chain two. Now you're gonna work in your corner, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So one, two, three, three chain, three double crochet in the same space. One, two, three, chain two, three double crochet in the next chain space. And repeat this sequence all the way around until you get back to your beginning. Don't forget your chain twos between each three double crochet when working in your spaces. And then in your corner, it's a three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Repeat that all the way around, and I will meet you when I get back to my beginning. All right, so I've worked all the way around, joined the slip stitch into my beginning uh, chainless double crochet, or I'm sorry, standing double crochet. If you did the chain three, then you would have joined into the third chain of your chain three. And this is what we have. We'll fix up our ends later. This is a pattern I was not able to work my um, ends into the back while I worked around, but that's not a problem. So anyway, this is number 31 called Web Flower. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to be, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so then you can get um, a preview on our video. An hour be It goes live an hour before our patterns go live in group. If you would like to join our group and you're not with us yet, in the description below is a link to our group. Until next time, y'all, happy hooking.